Imagine a horror genre video game where people keep asking you to hold their baby, and you have to fight off increasingly determined hordes of monsters without dropping it. I'm sorry, did you mean Yoshi's Island? Wait, 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 what? What? Behold the Tumblr blue through the years. Ah, yes, the computer illiteracy pride flag. A timeless classic. She guessed my favorite color first try. But between me and you, I don't even have a favorite color until she yelled out yellow. She was hella excited and smiling like a little kid. So I told her she was right, and I haven't seen yellow the same since. It's in everything, and I could probably live in it now. This is the cutest thing I've heard all day, stop! Bad joke time! It can be frustrating when people confuse aromantic with aromatic. But hey, you know what they say. A rose by any other name would smell as sweet. First of all, how dare you? Yeah, at this point, I'm holding myself together with glitter glue. I may be falling apart, but I am sparkly. Panera has just released a line of swimsuits that say soup in huge letters on them. And I thought of you. Panera? Bread? Yeah. Finally. Clothes from the soup store. Andy, we did it. Oh my god. P put up a W in the corner. A nice reminder that a writer isn't defined by a number of words, lines, or paragraphs. Nor the amount of content they can provide in a given amount of time. Drabbles are valid. Headcanons are valid. And you're an absolute angel for posting free content and feeding us so nicely. Mwah. I love you. <sighs> my poor little stupid. Stupid, pathetic bitch of a meow meow. How I love him. You know, you look short, but your vibes are tall and mighty like a gay tree. Ah yes, what a mighty tree I am at five feet and two inches. Well, my girlfriend is only 4'11", so as far as she's concerned, I am a mighty gay tree. You know, that's tall for a bonsai tree. Do you want to fight? Your Honor, my ch- <laughs> I was about to say my child. Fuck. I'm sorry, Andy. Your Honor, my client could not have committed the murder as the victim had 28 stab wounds, but my client only had one knife! Why, yes, of course! We are so sorry for accusing you. Ah, it's okay. It happens all the time. You know what's better than a queen ruling a kingdom by herself? Two queens. Married to each other. Lesbian queens. I'm talking about lesbian queens. I don't mean to interrupt, but... Is that not Steven Universe, but with four lesbian queens? Please tell me if I'm right or wrong. Today I saw an old man wearing a shirt that said, Time to turn up the beat. Fuck yeah, you funky little gardener. How is piracy bad? It's sharing. And sharing is caring. It's because capitalists lose. If I were a drink, I'd be a cherry vanilla coke. If you were a drink, what would you be? Everyone's like bleach or sewage. Ugh, please calm down, edgelords. You know, in reality, all the people who say they're like bleach or sewage, they are 110% strawberry Fanta. Indiana Jones? Bah, <laughs> more like Fedora the Explorer. I am deleting. <laughs> You'll never get to drive the Bolton Steel Tractor. Why even live? You know what? You're absolutely right. Andy? Just do me a favor, delete the whole video, just blow it up or throw it out, do something funny or sad or whatever, I don't, I don't care. Or just throw me into the molten steel tractor, do something. <laughs> you know, sometimes I forget I am a real person. This is such a weird thing, but I understand. Enters a maze in a video game, finds the right path on the first try, goes back and checks all the wrong paths for secrets, gets lost after doing that. I figured out that horror games with grotesque monsters and spooky environments are negative 9,000 scary if you pretend you're Steve Irwin on a mission to document the monsters. Crocky, looky day. That's a six-foot grunt from the basement. I'm gonna wrestle it. This is how I get through a lot of scary environments without getting scared. It really works. Yo, this plot is so thick, it might as well be a Pixar mom. You know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> you guys know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mass Effect, Legendary Edition is very, it's big. <laughs> you know, like, okay. Butch Hartman caused Call Me By Your Name, and I hope he loses sleep over it. You can't just sucker punch us with that knowledge and not explain what you mean. All right. Little Nas X made Call Me By Your Name. Little Nas X claims Danny Phantom was his gay awakening. Butch Hartman made Danny Phantom. Oh my god, this is the best thing I've heard all day. I don't know what to do with this information. Andy, help me. What are your thoughts on the... Fundamentally against it. You! Go make things. Like, what, a sandwich? A whole ass novel? Revolution? Yes! You heard the rulers of hell! Make a novel about the sandwich revolution! Are they seafood dip? Does that count? Absolutely! I never felt the phrase, one foot in the darkness and the other in a Hello Kitty roller skate, more potently than a couple hours ago, when I listened to a podcast cop getting torn apart by a monster crab while also playing Cookie Run. Damn. That's a good quote. You ever think about what absolute mad decadence we live in? That vanilla means plain? Considering it's one of my favorite flavors- YES! The most fucked up fact about Evangelion is when it's revealed that the giant robots are actually really big regular guys and the red stuff that comes out of them when they get hit isn't cooling fluid or whatever. It's like- Actual human blood! And the second most fucked Evangelion fact is that Shinji's Netflix VA has a car cat themed Twitter account! <laughs> Casey, I told you I'd do it! Yo, are you okay? Bro, I just spent my entire day opening and closing the same three apps. Don't ask me if I'm okay. Mood. The human spine is a joke. Why do my shoes affect how much my back hurts? I'm gonna kill ya! I've been trying to leave Rome for a few weeks now, but all their roads have this weird design flaw. Hmm, Hotelius Californium. Such a lovely place. Such a lovely place. Being on Tumblr is like being a raccoon. I dig through the garbage for shiny things I like. Sometimes I find good things to share with my friends. Sometimes I find something horrifying and also share it with my friends. I hate that I do this to you, Andy. I'm sorry. Rejection-sensitive dysphoria is fucking wild. Someone will be like, hey, just so you know, the thing you did was a little loud or uncomfortable or insensitive, but it's okay, I know you didn't mean it. And my brain will instantly translate, you should be shot. All right, that's it! I told Tumblr to stop being a mood, and you pushed it too far. Andy, blow up the video! For real this time! Chips. Hang on to your niggas. <laughs> they weren't expecting that shit. <laughs> I've discovered a fourth primary color and now I'm being hunted by agents of the color yellow who murdered my best friend and roommate, guilty of no less. These agents are very sneaky. They left a note inside my lotion that said, Snitchies get itchies. Oh, it's difficult. Until the planet is saved from yellow, I'ma be on the run. Seriously, anyway, I've got some super duper exciting news for you. I've discovered a new primary color that's existed since forever. It's called Stygian Birthday Cake, and it's produced by drowning fourth walls in a stallion cream cheese. So there you have it, the secret sound. Shrugs. I'm pretty sure that every wizard in the world has a different interpretation of magic. Some wizards think that magic is science, and other thinks that magic is real. But I think it's all about profit. Nothing but fat stacks and straight up gains. Ever since I saw Governor Andrew Cuomo's nipple rings on TV, I've always wanted to be a famous comedian. I thought I'd eventually meet a person who'd teach me everything. I reached out to famous people like Ricky Gervais, Ricky Martin, Nick Cave, Nicolas Cage, and Nicholas II of Russia. But all I got in return was bopkiss. I'm not sure how to get to the bottom of things. There's a saying in comedy lore. If you want to be John Gotti, you have to kill people. Pay attention, emotionalities! This conversation's gonna get very weird. AI, or the underlying intelligences, is a brown and yellow paroxysm of idiocy rife with wordplay and comical parables. You may respond by laughing or slurring your words, but do not be duped! I'll make a big deal out of nowhere, and instead she'll keep me telling you that diamonds are special. If at any point you begin to falter or have qualms about the subject, I won't disappoint. AI is a character. Each life she has lived as a separate person, and we were in a surrogate mother. So 
be prepared for lots of blue tears. If you have concerns, I understand. Just don't be alarmed. Just be grateful for the help that she's willing to help. I'm a golden retriever. A golden retriever with unrivaled poise and confidence. Unparalleled hustle. Master of shadows and fine lines. Be doubt it! I'm the most powerful canine hound in the world. I'm a two-star general or something. I literally do nothing but chase the hounds of New England. Like almost every other dog, I have double power, triple power. But that's not even the best part. There are some things that only the hounds of New England have power. There are things that only the hounds of New England have jaw strength. And I'm going to teach you something real quick. Every time you see a dog bite someone, you become a father figure to a whole new generation of ballers. I can't get enough of nutrition. Amino acids? Yep. But as always, you have to remember that taurine is the amino acid that football players need. It's the king of lower body proteins. It's the muscle building stuff. So if your muscle memory is being a YouTube user, you gotta make sure to jiggle the boogeyman. Don't be a WTF ender. Everything else pales in comparison to the raw power of releasing your boogeyman. Yep, it's like dark chocolate in reverse. The fuck did I just read? Oh, it's a beautiful day. Time to check out what Tumblr's been up to. Oh, crap. That's right. We blew it up. Um, Andy, I hate to be that guy, but can you, can you help me put it back together, please? Thanks, Andy. You're the best. Crabs are so gentle. They can be so kind. And their claws, precise little things. So careful in the sand. So careful with food. They do what they must to live and wave their claws to express their joy to the world for giving them so much to them. For giving such kindness to these creatures known as crabs. Please be gentle to crabs. <clears throat> I was on a new sleep medication last night. But you were right! I think midwives deserve more respect. They really help people out. You know, at first I thought this was actually a midwife appreciation post, and didn't even realize it was a pun. <sighs> I guess it's all in the delivery. <clears throat> Sir, that is too big a bite! Don't tell him what to do! He is causing a scene! Yeah, 2000 was 21 years ago. Bruh, 21 was 2000 years ago. Bruh! Girl boss? Nah, girl union and girl strike. <laughs> Guerrilla warfare? You come into my house, you eat my food, and this is how you show your respect. By being funnier than me on my own post. Disgusting! I read that capsaicin makes your mouth feel like it's burning because it increases your nerve sensitivity to heat, and menthol works by doing the same thing to cold. So if I eat a habanero pepper and then chew a bunch of breath mitts, they'll even each other out and I'll be fine! Hey, <coughs> guess what hellfire tastes like? I am a bar of soap and God is an Instagram girl with acrylic nails and a box cutter. The... This post means something, and I'm afraid to find out. And Andy, I can't even ask you to find out for me because I don't want to know. Oh, fuck yeah, this is the shit. Kill me now. I'm so scared of 2020. Something seems to be frightening about this year. It's going to be Y2K all over again. The Black Blake is going to come back. I swear, I fucking swear. Date of origin, 3rd of December, 2018. Apollo, calm down with the gift of prophecy! If a single teacher can't teach all the subjects, then how do they expect a single student to learn all the subjects? Fuck! This may be the smartest post on Tumblr. Yeah, they're right. I, how do... how do... fuck... fuck! May your soul be ever grown with moss. May your veins fill with rainwater and your lungs swell with flowers. Yeah, was this a curse or a blessing? Because either way, lay it on me, boys. I believe you mean, give me the peep, boys, and free my soul! I can't mansplain, manipulate, man -whore my way out of this one, boys. Manslaughter it is, then! Ah, when the bard multi-classes into barbarian. Fascinating. Behold a honey buzzard flying away with a piece of honeycomb. 
Return the slab. Am I the only one whose internet addiction started with my parents not letting me fucking go anywhere? And then they started complaining about me not going out anywhere? And now when I go out, they complain I'm never home? Where is the lie? Hey, do you have any skeletons in your closet? Before I answer that, should I be concerned with your username? Mr. Skeleton Fucker 69? Okay, y'all know Furbies, right? The annoying little fuckers that never stop laughing? Those guys? They're banned from most Korean military bases because they've got cameras and recorders in them. I'm sorry! <laughs> what did you just say? Tumblr should add polls. It would get batshit insane so quickly and I ought to be here for it. You weren't a well-behaved child. You had anxiety and were terrified of conflict. We know, but hey! Joy is stored in not knowing who the fuck internet celebrities are. Gun to my head, I couldn't name a single Minecraft YouTuber, and I genuinely think that accounts for at least 70% of what little inner peace I possess. At 20s, I wish I knew your euphoria. I wish I did. I like this one. Five years ago, I was a fucking mess. And now I'm a fucking mess, but at peace with it, and with a cooler fashion sense. Tumblr, I, f I blew you up before, I will do it again. Stop being a mood. Stop it. Stop. Give me something else. Alright everyone, get the fuck up! New frog has been discovered! Woo! My dad got very excited because he thinks my frog looks like this biscuit. I mean, he kinda do though. Help me, I am trapped in a haiku factory. Save me before they... I got your message. I have snuck my way inside. Oh my god, what the... It's very difficult to create realistic timelines in your story when you're struggling to figure out how long a week usually is. Yeah. My psych teacher has a poster in her room that says, Every time you call your boyfriend, Daddy. Daddy. Sigmund Freud's ghost grows a little bit stronger. And if that isn't threatening, then I don't know what is. Hey, sometimes I write that in my text so people read it like a pirate. <laughs> well played, Gladium. Well played. I know some naughty words that'll really knock your socks off. But I'm not wearing socks. Well then I know some caring words that'll put socks on you. <gasps> oh my god. Documented cases of feral children. Raised by primates, raised by wolves, raised by dogs, raised by bears, raised by sheep, raised by cattle, raised by goats, raised by ostriches, raised by the French. Watch out for that one over there. He's that homeboy. You've heard about mom friend and dad friend. Now get ready for grandpa friend, trademark. Almost always grumpy, bad at showing affection, but cares about their friends a lot. What did you say? Sorry, I didn't hear that. Can you repeat it? Often reminisces about their youth, even though they're probably only in their 20s. Alternatively, kids these days. Too old for this shit. See above. Totally not down with the youth. Bad back and everything else hurts too. And likes to complain. Listen, you had no right to call me out like this. I didn't want to be the grandparent friend. I don't think Andy wanted to be the grandparent friend. I don't even think... Any of our friends wanted to be the grandparent friend, but here we are! What?! Sure, he's a little rusty around the edges, but old Patrick is a classic showstopper like me. <laughs> huh? ah, kill it! Kill it! A gender. Did you mean a gender? No, that is the opposite of what I wanted. Um, just so you know, JFC, which you use in a lot of the tags in your posts, is an abbreviation for Jesus fucking Christ. And you probably shouldn't use it if you're not a Christian. I can't believe I read this with my own two eyes. You ever just submit something thinking, fuck it, I don't care anymore. But then five seconds later, you realize you actually care very, very much and are seized by gripping anxiety. Yeah! I've got a date with Destiny and it ain't gonna end with a kiss. It's such a raw quote, and I cannot believe it came from a Phineas and Ferb episode about hunting a giant metal whale with harpoons made of toilet plungers. As a procrastinating overachiever, I feel like I don't necessarily half-ass things. It's more like a three-quarter ass. 
Like overall, did I do pretty well? Yeah. Did I reach my maximum potential though? I think the fuck not. I like the little map on DoorDash because you can watch your delivery driver completely miss your address in real time. Daniel, you're going in the completely wrong direction. Let me help you, Daniel. Daniel, I'm hungry. I'm opening my mouth like a baby bird, Daniel. Daniel, why? Andy, we have to help them. Uh, bring Daniel to their house now, quickly, before they die. Today I learned the reason why we view Neanderthals as hunched over and degenerate is that the first skeleton to be found was arthritic. Way to fuck it up for your whole species, you fucking idiots! Hey, it's Hershey! We already got our first exciting fan letter! Let's see what it says! It's from Forrest. You suggested that we should delete our account on July 17, 2021. Well, Forrest, I have a suggestion for you. On July 17, 2021, I suggest you start running. What? Oh, God. <laughs> Forrest, run! Answering gender questions from himbos on Tinder is my favorite pastime. And with you being non-binary, say you're going to go to jail. Can you now pick it, you go to the men's or women's, or is it just more like a co-ed situation? That's a fair question, Josh, and the simple answer is, no jail can hold me. We're just limitless like that. Seriously though, like, I miss the boat on this whole radical honesty thing. I guess everyone now wants to be true to themselves now. I mean, that's great, but like, you really ever going to meet a select few people you can totally be honest with about anything? Lie to strangers. Lie to authorities. Like, damn, didn't you have parents that told you never to tell people on the phone that you were home alone? When the interview asks if you ever experimented with drugs, just say no. This is not a therapy session. He's got no business asking you that anyway. Lots and lots of people are not entitled to your vulnerability. I follow my grandmother's rule. It's only a lie if they have a right to know. Right there. It's only a lie if they have a right to know. Guys, guys, Hershey, Hershey's been k k killed. Oh my God. Forrest, what did you do?